Hello students, how are you today? I am very good. Today we are going to teach English lesson for 10th graders. Unit 8, Climate and Environment. Lesson 1, Excellently with the Words. We are teacher Tatsik and Ayon, English teachers of Future of Eastern Complex School. Alright students, please watch this lesson and Write down some write down some new words and do some exercises. Good luck for all students. Learning objectives of today's lesson understand main points on the weather forecast and in dialogues on helping the environment. Recognize the speaker's opinions about weather phrases and words. Let's speak about the weather and different weather conditions. So, what is the weather like? When the weather is good, you can say it's lovely, it's beautiful, it's fabulous or glorious. And when the weather is bad, it's miserable, horrible, terrible or foul. Look at the sky. If there are no clouds in the sky, it's clear, it's blue, or you can say it's cloudless. And otherwise, it's cloudy, it's grey. And if the clouds are really dark, you can say that the clouds are heavy. And when there are more and more clouds appearing in the sky, it is clouding over. And when they disappear and the sun comes out, it's clearing up. If you look up in the sky and you think it will definitely rain now, you say it's going to rain, and if it's already started, it is raining. If the rain is light, it is drizzling. But if the rain is heavy or torrential, you say it is raining heavily or it's pouring with rain. A short rain, not very heavy, is called a shower or showers, and you can say a shower of rain. A longer lasting rain is a steady rain. Sometimes there is also lightning and thunder, and when we have ice coming down from the sky instead of water, it's hail. Let's look at some phrases about rainy weather. I got caught in the rain. It started pouring down and I got soaked. My feet are soaking wet. Let's talk about the temperature. The temperature may rise and fall or drop. It can be above zero or below zero. In the USA it's measured in Fahrenheit and in many other countries in Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and zero degrees Fahrenheit is minus 17 Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. It can be hot, and when it's really hot, it's boiling. When the temperature is comfortable, it's mild. It can be cool, cold or chilly, and when it's really cold, it's freezing. And this type of condition is called frost. We usually have it in winter. To describe a period of hot weather, we say we had a bit of heat wave, and if it was cold for some time, we say we had a cold snap or a cold spell. Let's talk about snow. When it started, it is snowing. When we have really a lot of snow and the wind blows, it's a snowstorm. But a really severe snowstorm with really high winds is called a blizzard. And when the temperature is close to zero and snow is mixed with rain, it's called sleet. And when the temperature drops below zero, water turns into ice. But when the winter is over and the sun becomes hot, all the snow melts. Let's talk about wind. A light wind is a breeze. A stronger wind without rain is called a gale. But when we have really high winds plus snow or rain, it's called a storm. Storms can be quite dangerous. 
A column of rotating air moving very fast and destroying everything in its way is called a tornado. And a tropical storm which covers huge areas and causes a lot of damage is called a typhoon, hurricane or a cyclone. Some other weather conditions. When there is a lot of water vapor in the air, it's humid or wet. And when there are a lot of clouds in the sky, it's overcast or dull. When everything looks like in a cloud, it's a mist and it's misty. And a really thick one is called a fog and it's foggy. More useful phrases for you. You can say a spell of good or bad weather. A spell means a period of time. A gust of wind means a sudden rush of wind. And a blanket of snow means a thick layer of snow on the ground. I'll write to my students match meanings to the definitions and translate the definitions again. Okay? Drizzle, breeze, hail, shower, bluster, sleet, tundra, gale, frost, downfall, hurricane, blizzard. Okay? You have to match the definitions and translate into Mongolian. Alright, good students. Let's check the answers. Drizzle. To fall in fine drops. Drizzle. Number two. A lot of strong rain and snow in a short time. Breeze. Number three. Hail. Small hard balls of ice that fall from the sky like rain. Hail. Number four. Shower. A short period of rain shower. Number five, bluster. Wind blows strongly. Bluster. Number six, sleet. Wet partly melted falling snow. Sleet. Number seven, tunda. Loud noise comes from the sky after comes a flash of lightning. Tunda. Number eight, gale. A very strong wind of ocean. Gale. Number nine. Frost. The thin white layer of ice that forms when the air temperatures below the freezing point of water. Frost. Number ten. Downpour. A lot of strong rain in a short time. Downpour. Okay, number eleven. Hurricane. A large a rotating storm with high-speed winds that forms of warm waters in tropical areas. Hurricane. Number 12. Blizzard. A lot of strong rain and snow in a short time. Blizzard. Okay, you have already complete this one. All right. I want to give some exercises, additional exercises, because you are good students, okay? Exercises to C and 3B, page 121 and 122, okay? These are so easy ones. Words and sentences that can be used while discussing weather. Don't you think it's really nice out today? Yes, it really is. The weather is perfect. I think it's going to rain. I hope it does rain. I love it. The sky looks so clean after it rains. I especially love the night air after the rain. I know. The rain does make it smell cleaner. I would love it if it rains today. Yeah, so will I. I would really like to go to the beach this weekend. That sounds fun. What's the weather going to be like? The forecast said it will be warm on the weekend. So do you think it will be perfect weather for the beach? Certainly. It sounds like it will be. I really hope it doesn't get cold. I want this trip to be perfect. I hope it stays warm. It doesn't look very nice outside today. That's true. I think we should postpone our plans for the beach. Yeah, the weather is turning horrible. 
Weather forecast says it might rain. Let's plan for some other day when the weather is better. That would be perfect. Wish the weather is pleasant soon. Yeah, me too. It's so cold today. Yes, I know. I hope it's warmer tomorrow. No, actually, it's going to be even cooler. Well, how do you know that? I read tomorrow's forecast. The forecast? Then you don't need to worry. It'll certainly be warm. The forecast guys never get it right. Really? I hope so, for our sake. I read tomorrow's forecast. Don't you think it's really nice out today? I would really like to go to the beach this weekend. The forecast said it will be warm on the weekend. Yeah, the weather is turning horrible. Weather forecast says it might rain. Let's do practice. Make sentence uh, using the giving words. Number one, rainy drizzling happening now. It is rainy and drizzling day to day. Right? It is to be in, in present. Number two, wet breeze forecast. Forecast. It will be wet and breeze in the evening. Will be. Number three, cloudy, windy. Happening now. It is cloudy and windy today. Number four, frost, cold, forecast. It will be frosty and cold in the Han. Number five, a blasty noon, happening now. We have to think this, happening now or forecast of the weather, all right? Climate. Today I give you some more exercises because these are so easy for you. Okay, in your textbook page 123 exercise for B. Okay, my students, when you smile, I smile. See you next time. Have a good time and have a beautiful day.